For the first time, ACP Summit coincided with a business forum to stress the importance of structural economic transformation and industrialization. President Gengob argued at the forum that without sound governance in place, economic transformation would be difficult to achieve and this can create room for corruption. He shared the recent fish rod and financial bribery cases in Namibia with the audience, in which his own former cabinet ministers are implicated, and the impact of the scandal. While I talk about good governance in Namibia, while I did everything, we had a shock just recently, where as I was campaigning to be re-elected, and as I had already investigated, the ministers wrote them letters, and after they replied, I gave that to the, to the Anti-Corruption Commission. To my surprise, I saw Al Jazeera having a big event, just time to make my elections. I'm telling you, I got after 87%, this time I got 56 It's all right still. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting. However, Dr. Gengob stressed that Namibia's policies remain investor-friendly. Therefore, he says, government will continue to seek investments which are beneficial to all parties, as well as to cement governance. Good governance is my forte, and therefore I think we will continue. We, business people and us politicians, we are all doing the same thing. You, your bottom line is profit. Our bottom line is peace, unity, and security. We are all doing the same thing, and I'm glad that our new governments are investor and business people friendly. Similarly, most ACP states are stable democracies with good economic policies. Jamaica's Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, says this should be able to drive the development trajectory towards infrastructure development among the ACP countries to ease trade. This is a good environment for investors to consider to place resources. But more than that, we are now at a phase in our development where we are emphasizing infrastructure and energy, two critical um, planks of any country's development. In Jamaica, for example, we have been investing heavily in infrastructure. And it's always a puzzle to me because China has taken a specific interest. Um, the European countries have taken a specific interest, but we have not yet had an African country taking a specific interest in very profitable infrastructure investments in Jamaica. And I'm using this opportunity to invite African investors to come and participate in the Business Forum participants further called for more people-to-people -people exchanges and reduction of trade tariffs among the ACP states. Blanche Gores, NBC News, Nairobi, Kenya.